Hey guys, welcome to another Belly Strong video and today we'll be discussing exercise and recovery guidelines after C-section. Initially I'd follow the lifting recommendations from your doctor as well as wear a belly binder. I wouldn't wear a belly binder past initial healing as wearing it for too long can actually create too much downward pressure on the pelvic floor which may lead to further issues. After six weeks, once your scar is united, you may be able to start some gentle scar tissue massage, although I'd wait until 12 weeks before attempting some really deep massage. With a C-section, you have the external wound, which you can see, but there's a lot happening underneath the surface. In order to get to the baby, medical professionals will have cut through multiple layers of skin, connective tissue, and muscle, and these layers also need to heal. As you recover, scar tissue can build up between these layers, which creates a lot of tension in the area and can also increase the resistance your abs have to work against. So what's happening at your scar site can actually influence how well the abs are working and how much general tension there is in that abdominal area. We'll get into some scar tissue massage in a minute, but remember that everything is connected. So as well as focusing on scar massage, I'd also look at abdominal massage to release the tension in the general abdominal region. If we get into the nitty gritty, there are a few techniques you can use to massage that scar. And I'll demonstrate on my stomach here, a bit higher than the C-section scar actually is but you can use the pads of your fingers to gently massage along the scar in circular movements. You can pull perpendicular to the scar and you can also pull along the length of the scar. Something that can really work nicely is skin rolling and this is where you'd grip the skin in your fingers and roll it underneath your fingertips to help reduce the tension in that scar. And you can gradually go deeper with your techniques as your scar heals. You don't need to do it for too long. I'd maybe start with two to three minutes a day to start with. Wearing silicone tape can also really help with scar recovery. And this is something that you can probably get from your local drugstore, pharmacy, or chemist. Women always ask me if it's too late to start. And the answer is no. Even if you're several years past your C-section, you can still get some really great benefit from scar tissue massage. As well as scar healing, we also want to focus on pelvic floor recovery and something simple that you can start quite quickly to help get the abs working and the pelvic floor working together is breathing. Your pelvic floor diaphragm, abs and ribs all work together to control intra-abdominal pressure through this region and breathing is a great way to make sure all of these structures are working together well and is a great intro into core strength. A good exercise here is to place your hands on your belly and ribs and just take a nice deep breath. Initially, just to see where you're breathing from. So are you feeling movement under your hands, into that belly, into the sides? Are you moving up into the shoulders? And once you know where you're breathing from, we can start to correct certain things. A good place to start is often with a belly breath. So here I place my hands on my upper belly and ribs and just take a nice relaxed inhale through the nose as you try to breathe into your hands. You should feel that belly extend outwards. We want to make sure we're keeping the shoulders nice and relaxed. Once you've got that down, we want to bring in the ribs. We want some sideways movement. So here I'd place my hands on my sides and as you inhale, imagine pushing your hands outwards but also forwards. We're still incorporating that belly breath in, forwards belly, sideways through ribs and out. And once that's good, we bring in the back. So we want to get some expansion through the ribs here. Here I'd imagine breathing into my thumbs. So we want the air going forwards, sideways, and backward in this 360 breathing pattern. And this is a great place to start for core strength. Once you can do all of that together, keeping everything up here nice and still, we can start to use our exhale to help activate the obliques and the intercostal muscles, which are really important for core strength. So it would look something like this. Inhaling, through the front, back and sides. And as you exhale, you'll exhale with a ha sound. So inhale and ha. 
as you feel the ribs come down and in and this helps to activate those muscles that I mentioned before. I wouldn't exhale too forcefully initially. There's just a little bit of force behind that exhale so you feel those abs kicking in. And I'd maybe do 10 breaths one to two times a day initially. If this is difficult for you to do or feel what's going on in standing, you can also do this lying on your side with one hand on your rib cage. This breathing into your back can also be really helpful for back pain, which I know a lot of us postpartum moms suffer from. We talked earlier about scar tissue massage and breathing is another great way to release tension in that scar area. I change my hand position here and place my hands on the lower belly. And as you inhale, imagine filling the lower belly with air. And as you do so, you should feel a little bit of a stretch on that scar. We then want to take this breathing into strength work for the core. And this usually begins with transversus or deep ab activation. So here I take my 360 breath. And as you exhale through a ha, we want the upper abs, the middle abs and the lower abs drawing in and the ribs tucking gently down and in. So there's a flattening in this area. And now can you hold this brace while you continue to breathe into your back? With a C-section, it's incredibly important to focus on the lower abs drawing in as there's usually a lot of weakness here related to the scar site. A great way to do this initially is with a wall plank. So I place my hands against a wall with my shoulders, hips in line. Inhale through that 360 breath. As you exhale, you should feel the ribs tucking down, lower, middle and upper abs drawing in. And I just hold this wall plank position while I continue to breathe into my back here. And whatever we do, we don't want to fall into a shallow breathing pattern. We want to continue to take deep breaths into the lower abs. And I'd maybe do 10 breaths there. Once you can do a wall plank, you can then move down to a chair, then down to the floor into a kneeling plank, and finally a full plank, where you simply hold this position, focus on that abdominal brace, and continue to breathe deeply into the lower ribs. You can then add movement onto this with things like bent knee fallouts or toe taps, many of which are already integrated into our postpartum workouts. So just to recap, after focusing on some scar tissue massage, I'd work on my breathing and coordination between all of the structures in that pelvic and abdominal region. We can then take this into transversus abdominis or deep ab activation through abdominal bracing. We then take it up a level and move into isometric holds. So things like planks where we maintain that static position but continue to focus on our breathing. We can then add movement onto this with conventional core exercises. If you're unsure about where to start, remember we have a recovery series and a strength series on the channel. And if you're looking for something a bit more intense or you're wanting to get back into high impact activities like running and aerobics, we also have our postpartum return to running and impact program. I'll put the link in the description below. But that's it for today. I hope it's been really helpful. A reminder to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Please leave any questions or comments below and I'll see you again on another video.